What is up, everyone? It's your boy Vox, and we're here with a brand new game. It's um supposed to be supposedly rather a short game. It's kind of really the Halloween themed RPG type of thing. It's free on Steam, and I wanted to give it a shot. It's called, as you can see, Trick and Treat. It's um let's see. I don't know much about it other than that we are on Halloween night and we wander into a mansion, and it's got some puzzles and it's got some jump scares and stuff. So I hope it's going to be pretty fun. Um, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. So let's get into it, shall we? Caution. This game contains horror elements including blood, jump scares, ghosts, and monsters. Just my alley. Make sure you're fine with the contents before playing this game. Lock the door before going out. Just like that. Okay, it's perfectly locked. Oh, I like the little sprite animations. That's pretty cool looking. Pretty clean, too. I can definitely count on you now. Well, do you remember what day it is today? Today is... Oh, I gotta set the date. Uh, well, today is October 1st of recording this. So, 10... Oh, 01. Let's see, month, month, date, date. Yeah, 10 oh, 01. What? I just told you this evening and you forgot again? Well, I just said it was on Halloween, so I probably should have said the smart thing. But, no, I went with the actual date. Because it's me. Today is Halloween, so we are going trick-or-treating. I'm kind of worried. Why are you worried? Well, this is your first time outside the house. Follow me and don't get lost. Do I not leave? Am I just a hermit? You have no sense of direction at all, and... It would be terrible if you tripped and broke your head or something. Broke your head. I'm going to die tonight. That's what that means. Sure. I like the little pumpkin hat. That's pretty cool. Let's go then. And then we're strolling through the forest, it looks like. Really, really slowly. Gosh, I love the backgrounds in this, too. It's like pixel, but not quite pixel. I kind of like it. By the way, why did you want to dress up like this? Do I have an answer? Looks more like a Halloween decoration than an outfit. What's the problem with that? That's cool. I find it adorable. Same. It's pretty cute. Miss Charlotte told me that I could be whatever I wanted today, right? Yes. And I only wear this witch's hat th this time of year. That's why I like Halloween. And I love Halloween for several reasons. It's the best. Let's see. So we slowly meander. There's some jack-o'-lanterns in the corner. I like that. Startled motion. I don't know what to, what to caption that. Dots. So, why are you afraid of those? Of course the town is decorated with pumpkin heads on Halloween. <laughs> the heads, they are really scary. You're ruining the festival mood. Maybe I should have left you at home. I'm sorry. I can see why you don't like them, but... Got an idea. But it seems that we have a better place to go. I heard there was another house in the forest was preparing for trick-or-treat. That's the case, let's go play some tricks on them. I see, it's going to be one of those. I don't like the house. Tonight's the perfect... Tonight is perfect for some bad jokes. How bad you talking? Did something happen? Actually, no, I don't even know him. The house suddenly appeared in the forest one day. It seems to be... Cursed. Cursed, you say? Sounds disturbing, doesn't it? Well, I haven't heard the story yet. It just sounds cursed to me right now. Since you don't want to visit the town, let's go to that house. Instruction. Okay, we got instructions now. Use the keyboard to control your character. Hold shift to run. Um, space to investigate or talk. And escape to access the menu. And then we got mute, full screen. Could use that earlier instead of doing it the hard way. Uh, change window size. That works too. And back to title is F12. Cool. So then I just moved. Oh, cool. It's like, it really is earthbound RPG style. That's kind of cool. And I can interact. Like, can I interact with this tree? No, but I can interact somehow. This is cool. Nice. And we're back in. Let's see. Had to quit for a second and check something. Um, it's it's going to get spooky, isn't it? And we go meander really slowly. Oh, wow. That is a quite an immaculate castle. This house. It's a castle, actually. 
<laughs> Such terrible taste. You've got some fine standards, don't you? Listen, Amelia. I won't leave until I have all the candy in this house. All of it. Nice little ambience in the background, too. Well, okay. Hey, Charlotte really loves candy. Okay, so we're going to meander forward. Let's see. Is there anything I can kind of investigate around the house here? Can I go around the back of the house? I'm going to check everywhere else out but the front door first, because there may be something I might need to find. Let's see. Whoop, whoop, boom. Come on. Charlie, a loyal friend. Well, poor Charlie, I guess. He's just kind of buried in the backyard. So this is one of those houses with dead people in the back, so you know it's going to be good. Um, there's a little wagon. It's over here. Some mushrooms. Can I take the mushrooms? I take a Halloween-themed trip? Um, there's a tree. There's a couple boxes. A wooden box is full of dirt. All right. Dirt box. Cool. All right. Well, let's see if I can get in the door. Might be something cool in here. Oh, cutscene! Trick or treat. Oh, nice rug pattern. What is this place? The smell here is disgusting. Oh, weird. The carpet is very sticky. Weird sound effects for that. Oh, it's a nice library with a deer's head. Welcome to my party. He looks like Dracula. I've got to do the voice. We just picked up Dracula. Someone is on the second floor. I can't see him. <laughs> Give us all your candy or you'll be sorry. In all these dark years, I've been longing for guests. Finally, you are here. Tonight, doors will be open. It's a party. A game. Will you have fun? He disappeared. <laughs> what? Excuse me. Is this how you welcome guests? Oh, great. Now she ran off. With Charlotte? I gotta go get her, don't I? Somebody come get her. She's running into a castle. First, can I find anything? Do you like reading? Yeah, I do. I've been reading a lot lately. Some classics on the bookshelves. Um, cool. Black Cat. I guess kind of poke around the bookshelves. Because what else would you do when you're... Where did the Sphinx? When your friend or sister or whoever runs off into a creepy castle. You look at the books. Letters and papers are lying around. Trick or treat. Okay. There's other caverns, but I'm pretty sure I should probably go that way. Let's see. Oh, yep, there he is. Well, hello there. Good evening. Where's Miss Charlotte? Where's Miss Charlotte? Ah, that young lady. Sorry, I didn't catch her. But I'm sure she's still in the house. You are here for the party, aren't you? I hope you have a good time. And please take this. It might be useful. Hey, I got a flashlight! Cool. Flashlights are necessary. You turn on and off the flashlight in the item menu. There are items that can be not be found in the darkness. Please use a flashlight when exploring the house. Without items, most will not function automatically. You should select it from the menu to use it. Thank you for explaining how to use this. This isn't some nightshade bullshit. The only question is, how do I get to inventory? Oh! Oh, it's RPG style. I've even got levels. Um, item... And then you have to select flashlight and use it. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, oh, is that a ghost in the window? There's a ghost in the window. Excuse me. Can I? I just want to. I don't want to speak to you about our Lord and Savior, the ghost. Okay, I guess not. The Holy Ghost. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Okay, I can run. That's a speedy run. This way. Miss Charlotte shouldn't be stopped by things like this. Okay. Let's see if I run down the stairs. Do I go this way? Do I go this way? Yeah, there's a this way. Can't be alone without Miss Charlotte. Danger is everywhere. This house makes me sick. I must find Miss Charlotte before it's too late. And I'll give her all the candy. Alright, now down a dark hall. I. Hold on, I wasn't done. There's ghosts though. Let's see. I go through this door. Oh, this is a flying book. I love flying books, don't you? Oh, it's a save! Cool, it's a save game. Found 12 candy. Cool, I'm trick-or-treating in the house. I'm with that. That's uh, the COVID-style trick-or-treat. Here's a nice cozy fire, another deer head, nice little rug.
ties the room together, you know. Um, an herb is just like our resident evil where I use herbs. Carry. Cool. I'm carrying this stool. Where am I carrying the stool to? Why am I carrying this? Good question! Why did I just pick up the stool? I don't know. And give some more candy. More books. Let's see. There's another bit of the hall around here. Some barrels. Can I break the barrels? Oh, wow! I've got a powerful punch! Gonna just punch the barrel. And punch the barrel. There's absolutely nothing in them, but I punched them. Real good. And we're gonna punch the barrel. This, these ones didn't explode. It's locked. Okay, not this way. So I guess maybe down this way? Let's see. No, that leads into the same room. Is there something I'm supposed to find in there? Because, like, there's a stool, but what would I use the stool for? Oh, oh, hey, what? There's a ghosty goo? Excuse me. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves you. She loves me. I hope that was a good thing. Picked up a white rose. That might be a good thing. Does it tell me what these items do in the thing here? No, of course. It says pure and beautiful, and that's it. Cool. I've got a nice rose. Don't know what it does, but I've got it. That didn't do anything. Can I carry it? I I think I'm supposed to figure out where it's supposed to go before I carry it. Either that or it's just a weird in-joke. And I will, don't understand if that's what they decide to make a weird in-joke. Um, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's something in the wall here. Or maybe not. Look different. Um, oh, ghosty. I didn't mean to do, do that. Um, Alright, so let's go and see what happens when I run into a ghost. Is this how I build XP? Uh, oh, I know, I walk through it. Can I interact? Nope, it's just a ghost in air. Cool. Guess I don't need to worry about it, but I can collect this candy. I don't know what I can use candy for, but I can collect this candy. Yeah, it just goes right over me. It's a ghost that I don't even notice. Alright, well I can go this away. So let's see what's this away. Candy! Hold on, I'm weak. And I'm not very clever. However, I want to do everything I can to help Miss Charlotte. To take care of her. I was born for her. I remember this more clearly than anything. We're getting backstory? We might be picking up some slow backstory here. Um, so there's some candy. 22 of it. And there's a door. Guess what's for dinner? Plus escape to the lead. The answer can be less than seven letters. Oh, um... What's for dinner? Steak? How do I... Oh, I gotta do it this way. A weird way. Steak's for dinner. Because, like... Steak sounds like something that would be for dinner. Is it edible? Please go check the kitchen, then. Help with it. Hurry, please. Where's the kitchen? Where's the save point? I assume I'll use that. Yeah, save. Okay. So... There's some more barrels here to punch. Whoa! I, I don't know if that one was good. I don't quite know if that one was good. Yeah. Oh! It's a nice little bathroom area. Cool. And then there's a... I think that's the kitchen over there I gotta get to. Anything I can do in here? Anything at all? Can I flush? It's clean. Know that. Sink is clean. How about... The, oh, the mirror. A spooky... Oh, that's weird. Yeah, no kidding. I, I, negative me looks weird. Oh, hey. Nothing useful inside. That's sad to know. Clean towel. Nice little picture. It's a tub. Empty bathtub with a broken shower head. wonder if that means anything. Huh. Alright. So there's the bathroom. So this is the kitchen. Let me bake the barrels first. Boom. And... Boom. Nothing. I don't know if I get anything from these or if this is just cathartic. Door is locked. Okay. So I've got to find the key to the kitchen door. And I don't know exactly how to go about doing that. Let's see. 
And then, guess what's for dinner? Okay. Gotta go check, I'm sure. Um, how do I get to the kitchen? Well, I'm gonna get this candy first. Because, trick or treat! See, can I go this way yet? No, I still cannot go that way. Some kind of weird force field. Um, let's see. And then over here. What is your room number? What is your room number? Okay, so I need a room number. So I'm in a little bit of a pair of. Oh, what, what, what? Excuse me? Can I talk to you guys? No? Maybe if I follow their dance. Maybe it's a secret pa uh, secret code or something. Follow the shadow dance. I mean, I'm just guessing here. It could just be walking in a circle. I think they're just walking in a circle. Okay, cool. Ghosts are ghosts. Ghosts are ghosts that don't apparently haunt me. Um, do these cat statues do anything? They make noise. Cool. Does this one also make noise? Yep. Cat statues that make noise. Oh, great. There's another set of dancing ghosts here. What is the purpose of all the dancing ghosts? Uh, let's see. What else can I do? Scoop, scoop. Let's see. Is there a door here? A door I couldn't open, I don't want to say. Yeah, locked. All right, and I don't have really have a key for anything. So like, maybe if I poke around the rooms, I'll find something. Because I don't think the candy can be used for anything. That can be carried, but where? It's not a place that really wants me to carry it. Oh, there's a key in the bear. Can I get the key? Your hand in its mouth. This is probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's get the key. Hey, I got the kitchen key. Cool. Let's go get to the kitchen and find out what's for dinner and help with it, apparently. Yay. I did something. I'm making progress. So we're going to scatter over here. More ghosts showing up by the second. Um, and we're going to save again. Because I got the key now. And I don't know if anything's going to happen here. I don't know what could happen in this kind of game, but something could. Door is locked. I've got to use item. Uh, item, item. Item. Uh, key. There we go. Door is open. So now, if it'll let us, we go in. Alright, it's a nice kitchen. Doesn't look like anything's... That's weird. I don't know if you noticed, but it's one thing I noticed. When you're not in the room, it adds bloody and weird effects. To the room you were not in because it did that on this side too when we were in the bathroom that's kind of weird oh great bottle of wine fell you know how much that costs it's probably rich people wine okay they're falling everywhere that's oh great Let's see tableware is mostly wooden that would be something more expensive expensive in such a grand house right Let's see um Thing. Looks like some kind of sauce. Charlotte won't like this taste. Okay. And then in this pot, nothing. Some cleaning tools in the cupboard. Bread and a bread knife. Won't eat this. <laughs> Very picky, aren't you? Stove. I'm good at cooking. Oh! Random save book. Cool. Um, let's break some barrels, I guess. Oh, kaboom. Don't know what they do. Found blue potion. Blue potion's cool. Food storage. Some bottles of cheap red wine. Oh, there's there's a uh, there's a shadow dude. Marianne, Marianne, what are you doing? Please hurry and bring the wine to the dining room in one minute. Hurry up. Sorry, but I'm not Marianne.
Now I'll answer her with a picture. Wait, you know what? I'm on a pause right now. Oh, there's a timer. Holy shit. Hold on. Guess I better bring it anyway. The dining room's the one in the south, right? Okay. Apparently I'm on a timing time limit and I've already wasted it because I didn't pay attention. So I'm gonna hurry and fail. See what happens when I fail. Dead end three. Please hurry. So I've witnessed my first, oh god, first death. You really want me dead, don't you? Continue. I should probably continue. That would be great. But, um... It's the first dead end. So I'm gonna continue this from my save file. Apparently I've gotta to get to the dining room before the clock expires, which I did not know. So like, I'm gonna go try and actually do that this time. Door's locked. Right, I've gotta actually open it again. Cause this is when I got the key. So I'm gonna use the key again, open the door. Door's open. Come on, let me go through the door. Thank you. Okay, so I know I've got to get. Let's see, this is what the save point, the random save points for. I should have used that, but I'm gonna actually use it this time. Oh, now I find candy. I guess it's ah, randomly generated. I still don't know what that is. So we're gonna save before some shit gets too uh, time time sensitive. Let's see, I think I find. I go through this dialogue. I think I go through some dialogue here. Windows blocked. Then I find the blue potion. Let's see. Yeah, I find the red wine bottles. That's what triggers it. I gotta find the red wine bottles. So now I have to bring the rhyme. The warm the rhyme. The wine. Sorry, but I'm not there yet. Bring it. Okay. Found red wine. Cool. Got the red wine. Now I've got to run it to wherever the dining room is. Where is the dining room? I hope I have the dining room unlocked. If not, then this is going to be a bad end. Dining room is not there. This is the dining room. Right, right, right. I've got the wine. Where do I, where do I set it? Here? Do I bring it to you? You've brought the wine! Awesome, I did it. Thank you. Lost the red wine. So the dinner will be ready soon. Phew. Cool. I guess if you don't appease the ghost, the ghost's gonna get you. So now I'm gonna do some candy collection. Because I guess candy's currency here. Found some candy. Uh, do the brooms do anything? Silverware? Master's allergic to silver, you know. Is he a werewolf? He might be a werewolf. But this one, do you say anything unique? If I can get a hold of you? Master only drinks the red thing. Ah, and it's not red wine. It's blood. Because of course it is. What is this on the cupboard? X over the ghost and the pumpkin and candy equals what? Interesting. It's a puzzle. Don't open. It's an equation. Oh, it's pumpkin times ghost minus candy? That's a weird one. Should be clues in this dining room. Well, there are three pumpkins. Um, there was one ghost. And this is talking about the brooms. So. Oh. The pumpkin heads. There are three. Let's see. Candy things is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven candy things. And if it's talking strictly about the brooms, there are two ghosts. Um, I don't know where any other clues would be. So let's give that a shot, I guess. Oh, wait. There's some dots there. Why does it give me dots, but no ways to play the dots? Okay, whatever, I guess. Um, so, pumpkin times ghost. So that's three times two, which would be six. Minus the... No, that wouldn't make sense. It's taken away how many things of candy, and there are 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven of those. So maybe three times three, counting that one ghost, which would make nine. Yeah, three times three is nine. Nine is seven. That would take us down to two. So let's try two. Guess the brooms are ghosts. Did I miss anything? I'm sure that is not it. No, I'm not a ghost. Okay, so three times two is six. Minus candy jars. Can I go down? Is it zero? Six, maybe? Brooms are ghosts. Yeah, I'm missing something, though. Because there's two brooms. And there were one, two, three, four, five, six. Six things of candy. That's what it's telling me, right? The candy buckets? Yeah, I don't get it. Because there's three pumpkins times two ghosts. Which is six. Minus three, maybe? Two. I think at this point I'm just going to number crunch because I don't quite get it. It's not nine. Oh, keep. Yeah, let's just number punch it. Are any of the numbers the right number? As I keep pressing the same one because I'm going too fast. Five. Okay, it was five. Oh, it was a pl. Oh. I misread it's minus one because one candy thing. Okay, that's what I missed, I guess. Some magazines for light reading and a little shining thing. Which is the key to the cloakroom. I'm sure the cloakroom's the one way in the distance, probably. Or is it this one? It's not dinner time yet. You'll be back, right? Alright, that was kind of creepy. Um, so I'm going to go and save. And I'm going to cut this episode here. And we'll get back to this in the next episode. We're getting somewhere. I don't know where we're getting, but we're getting somewhere. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, Alright, so hope you guys have been joining us. It's kind of cutesy. It's got some um, some creepy things to it, though, and a nice puzzle aspect. Again, if you enjoy this and you want to go through it yourself, it's free on Steam. Uh, it's called Trick and Treat. So, um, yeah. I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe at your wills, and you all know what to do. Stay fresh. Stay chill, stay spooky, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, y'all. <laughs>